Hey guys, I'm Blue6 on Instagram and Twitter, or at Blue6Tower, and as you can probably tell by the video, it's Pride Month! Yes, I am a member of the LGBT community. No, this isn't going to be a video about the LGBT community, it's purely about the cards. Uh, so, with that out of the way, we're going to go straight on to talk about the gayest tarot that exists. The Gay Tarot. It's kind of in the name, really. Um, also, just another thing, um, during this video I will say that I'm not going to do like a top 5 and then I wind up changing my mind and doing a top 5. So, go with that really. Should be cool. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, now first we'll start off with the box. Um, on the front you have the Wheel of Life, or Wheel of Fortune. On the side you have the Lovers. And on the back you have the Ten of Cups. Now, if you are familiar with the Scarabino and some of my videos, um, a, lot of, a lot of the cards I own are from the Scarabino. So, this is the kind of standard Lascarabino fair, so five inches, um, five inches high, three inches across, <clears throat> and they shuffle and spread smoothly. So once again, if you if you've got Lascarabino cards already and you're very familiar with those, then yeah, um, they're very easy to shuffle, very smooth spread. So this is the kind of standard build and structure for the deck themselves. So this time round I've decided to instead of just go through and pick some of the selected major arcana, um, I've decided to pick out the cards that have a different name to the standard of the major arcana. But before I do, I just want to have a look at the back of this. Now once again these are, it's, this always made me think of Dr. Manhattan from The Watchmen, except I find this interesting. And uh, I do think that's pretty cool with the design. So, as you can see here, we've got number two, which is the High Priestess. But in this case, this one is the Introvert. And uh, the next card we have is the Protector, instead of the Empress. So, as you can probably tell, a lot of these are very respectful. They're, they don't mock uh, people, um, gay men. And I've also must highlight this is more for uh, the tarot of uh, gay men rather than just LBT in general. So the only females in this you'd have would just be either f would just be family members essentially. So in this one we have the priest, um, which is also I, th I think it's quite a nice card. So in this I'm not really going to do a top five. I'm just going to just select random cards essentially. Uh, so them we have. Um, self-hatred, which should actually be referred to as the devil in most other decks. And I do think that one's quite interesting on the fact that he's looking at a, the classic nuclear family, as it were. And uh, I can imagine for a lot of people it is quite a struggle. But no, we're, <coughs> we're not going to go down that road. We're just going to talk about the cards as best I can. This one I think is quite interesting though, with um, Revelation. Now, once again, this is actually from the tower. So obviously in this depiction, the man is giving his parents news that he is gay. And it does not appear that they are taking it well. So once again, this, this deck is very respectful. All right, and then we have uh, Beyond Judgment, which I think is pretty good. So it's a nice... Uh, image of pride there and uh, once again I think that's kind of very apt for the uh, for when we're doing this so but then I did kind of plan to do this myself anyway so we'll move on to the uh, my uh, we'll, not to the miners we'll actually move on to a selection of the um, of the court cards <clears throat> I've got it out eventually uh, with the court cards okay so what I've done I've chosen uh, one court card from each uh, court, and to highlight the kind of style and themes of the tarot themselves, and to kind of show how broad the subject is, it's not just specific to particular stereotypes. 
So <clears throat> the page is referred to as the youth. And this one, he's working with studio lighting for um, th uh, for either a th well, well for a theatre or a music venue. Now, I've chosen these because these are the more interesting ones um, for the court um, for the court cards. The card, the deck themselves are nice. They are not particular. The de uh, certain depictions are pretty good um, and pretty cool and interesting. And some of them are just blokes sitting in an office or doing whatever. So it's not necessarily anything groundbreaking, but then I think that works in its favour, if I'm honest, because anything else is kind of pushing stereotypes. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some stereotypes in here, but they are very realistic. And the fact that some are just people doing stuff that are a bit more flamboyant, but, you know, that one, this entire deck is very respectful. So in the uh, night, we, they are referred to as the men. So here we have uh, the uh, the Man of Swords. Sorry, previously the other one was the Youth of Wands. So the Man of Swords, um, who is a chemist or alchemist, depending on how you look at certain things. But yeah, he's once again he's just kind of some bloke uh, doing chemistry. And <clears throat> uh, then we have the Queens who are referred to as the guard. So this is the guard of coins. Now, I found it very difficult to pick a favorite out of the guard, uh, out of the guards, because essentially they are all just blokes with wings. So it's just picking which wings look the best, and I've pretty much chosen the uh, guard, uh, the guard of coins, pure, on the pure basis of I picked all the others, and this was the only guardian I hadn't chosen. So the guardians themselves don't look particularly interesting. They're all just angel men. So I just chose this one just because that was kind of the one left um, left over. But um, as I said, the artwork's still good and uh, it's a nice little depiction there. And then we've got the Sage of Cups instead of the King. And I quite like this one because it's not just... Um, because it's showing how the King of Cups in tradition, in tradition is very kind of level-headed and very reasonable, so would be a good referee. Rather than just being a judge, he's more of a person who's like, right, I see both of your issues, you both need to calm down. And I do think that's quite good. I think that's quite a good uh, depiction of the King of uh, Cups um, as the Sage, which I think is pretty good. And um, as I said, the, the deck itself isn't necessarily groundbreaking. It, the artwork isn't spectacular, but the um, but it's uh, with the exception of the angel wings, obviously, it's as realistic as it's as realistic as people are. Really, there's nothing too ridiculous or outgoing with some of these. But but there you are. So whilst I'm here, I thought I'd do a quick nod to the aces. I didn't really w want to bring them up purely because there's not a lot to them. So um, there are obviously colour distinctions. Um, so we have the Ace of Cups with a nice cup spilling out from the top there, um, just above a lake uh, with lily pads. So that's quite nice. <clears throat> um, then we've obviously got the uh, Ace of Coins with just a coin. Um, <laughs> and sword and wand. There's as I said there's nothing really in depth about these. They they said they 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 are quite nice. Um and there's not really much else I can say about them other than the fact they look quite cool. They'd make good t-shirts, nice little posters, that sort of thing. But unfortunately there's not really a lot to go in depth about, or at least not to at least not for me. Um but yeah that's just kind of <clears throat> they're very Foc they're quite focused on the kind of top hat and the glitz and the sp and the um, sparkles, which I think is still quite nice anyway. I like the fact that the uh, wand is a magic wand. Um, through some of the other um, through some of the other um, Ace of Wands, they are literally magic wands, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but outside of that, there's not a lot you can really say about the aces. But with a lot of decks, the aces are the least interesting of the miners, but then that's just always been my opinion. 
I'll tell you what, um, might as well go take a look at some of the other majors, but those that seem to kind of touch on the actual subject at hand, rather than just standard blokes doing bloke, being blokes, I guess. So I've got five majors. These aren't any ones that I find particularly are my favorites, but ones that kind of hint on the um, topic of the card themselves. So. Although, I'm telling light, this one I did pick out because I do quite like this one myself. Um, first of all, you've got the Magician. And I do like the, it's personal favourite if I'm honest, the glitzy um, uh, uh, Las Vegas style Magician. Another thing I find interesting is on the curtain you have the cups, wands, uh, swords, etc. on the curtain panel here, um, instead of on the table. But I do like the fact he's a big stage magician. I do think that's really cool. And so here we have the lovers. And I, once again, this is actually a favourite of mine from the deck. In the fact that it's day and night, black and white, sun and moon. And I do like that the kind of blends of opposites. Which I think is quite an interesting thing. And uh, it, it does look just really quite nice. Once again it would be a thing I'd have as a poster personally. I think that does look really cool. Maybe in the background on my phone. And now we have Justice. Now when I went through the, when I first got this deck and um, I was looking through and I came across this one my first thought was that's a very interesting way to add Justice as a tarot card and still keep it on theme as well. So in the idea that it's two prisoners opposite each other um, wanting to reach out and show that they love each other and obviously I guess I would put it in the term in context they're not in prison for being gay I'd put it in context of they just found love in prison and uh, but it's also an interesting look when you consider that it might be considered a quote that would be considered an injustice that they can't be together which is an interesting take now that I think about it now this isn't a deck I necessarily use that often. I very, in fact, I very rarely uh, use this deck myself. Um, I was informed to avoid doing so in case I accidentally out someone, and uh, I don't really want to do that because people people come out on their own terms, and I don't want to put someone's foot in it. <laughs> and uh, so the next one is the sun, and I picked this one because it's just nice. Just two blokes building a wall. Um, in the sun and it's just because well, it's one of those things that does kind of break the stereotype and it's just the fact that there's two guys there they might be in a relationship they might not be but they're just close friends they're just, well, they're just close and they're just building a wall together in their twilight years because they're both grey so they're, they're at a point where they're very comfortable with themselves and in their lives and yeah, and they're just working together and just having a nice time. And so to end, I thought I'd end with uh, this bit of Atlas here. Because, uh, well, it's just a not once again, it's a nice picture. It does look pretty cool. And uh, I just thought, yeah, it's a, it's a nice way to end the major journey when you think about it. Just, um, that's a nice depiction of Atlas. Um, you don't see Atlas that much in Tarot right now, I think about it. Um, either that's supposed to be Atlas himself, or if it's just some bloke being Atlas. But either way, it's still a nice picture. He's uh, uh, quite well defined and quite well drawn, and and the artwork's just really nice again. And it's just it's just a very interesting deck. Unfortunately, it's just not all of it is particularly interesting. Some of it is just more of just stuff happening. Nothing necessarily specific about gay rights in, st in this deck. It's just people being people, just gay people just being people, um, or gay men being people. Nothing really standoutish, really. It's just they're living their lives and they're just being happy being themselves. And, you know, that's always a really important thing. Okay, thanks again for watching, and as I said before, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, also hit the bell notification, so every time I upload a video, you get informed. And also, you can check out some of my other videos here and here, uh, for some of the other content I do. 
So uh, I hope you have a good time and I shall see you soon with another video. You have a good one.